Hi St. Peter friends. I'm back with another Sunday School lesson. As is every week, we are still using the Gospel Project for our Sunday School stories. And as a reminder, today again our story comes from the Bible, God's Word, everything in there. We are always reminded it is true. And so our story today comes from the book of Genesis, still the first book of the Bible. But let's talk a little bit about weeks past. If you remember, we learned two weeks ago already that God made a covenant to bless the whole world through Abraham. Abraham did not have a large family at that time, but God promised that he would. Soon Abraham had a son, Isaac. And just as God had promised, when God asked Abraham to offer Isaac as a sacrifice, Abraham trusted God even when he did not understand God's plan. Do you remember that? Thankfully, God provided a ram for sacrifice instead. When Isaac grew up, he needed a wife in order to start a family of his own. Today, we will learn about how God provided a wife. Our story is called Isaac and Rebecca. When Abraham was old and his son Isaac was grown, Abraham wanted to find a wife for Isaac. He said to his servant, go to the land of my relatives and find a wife for my son. The servant agreed to go. He took with him 10 of Abraham's camels and all kinds of gifts. When he got to the land, he went to a well. It was evening and he knew the women from the town would soon come to the well to get water. The servant wanted to find the right wife for Isaac. So he prayed, Dear God, help me find a wife for Isaac. I will ask a girl for a drink of water, and if she is the one Isaac should marry, let her also give water to my camels. When the servant looked up, he saw Rebecca. She was beautiful and had never been married. And the servant asked her for a drink of water. Drink, she said. I will also give water to your camels. Abraham's servant watched Rebecca. When the camels had enough water, the servant gave Rebecca a gold ring and two bracelets. Whose daughter are you? He asked. And Rebecca said, I am the daughter of Bethuel. The servant asked to stay at her father's house. And then the servant praised God for providing a wife for Isaac. Rebecca ran home and told her family what had happened. Rebecca's brother, Laban, invited Abraham's servant into their home. The family set a meal before the servant, but he did not want to eat. First, let me tell you why I am here, he said. And the servant told them about Abraham and Isaac and how God showed him that Rebecca should be Isaac's wife. Rebecca's family believed that God wanted Rebecca to be Isaac's wife. The servant brought out gifts for Rebecca and her family. And the next day, Rebecca went with Abraham's servant to the land of Canaan. In the evening, Isaac was walking in the field when he saw the camels coming. Rebecca got down from her camel and covered herself with her veil. 
the servant told Isaac everything that had happened. Isaac married Rebekah, and he loved. bit on the shorter side this Sunday school lesson, but before we pray, I always like to take a look with you back at what you had gotten in the mail so long ago, following in the beginning, way back when we talked about the very first story, God creating the world, and people, and sin entered the world, following along Noah and the ark, the Tower of Babel, Here's the suffering of Job, and we had the covenant with Abraham. Last week we had Abraham and Isaac, and here we are already on our timeline, Isaac and Rebecca. So there are just always two other homework pieces for you. This one's pretty, pretty colorful, but here at the top it talks about here, camel camel. The instructions are find and circle 10 camels, two bracelets, and one gold ring hidden in the picture. It's all from your Bible story today. And on the other side is always a coloring sheet. So you have those two pieces. But then here on this side we're always reminded with your parents and activities to do at home. Why can we trust God? That's always the question, and here's our reminder. We can trust God because he is faithful and does everything for his glory and our good. Here's a question to discuss with your family. When can we pray to ask God to help us follow his plan? Anytime, right? Always. Anywhere. Anytime. How did Rebecca show that she trusted God? Think about that. Remember how she left her home and married Isaac? How can we show that we trust God? That's a good one for you to think about with your family. So here we are before we say goodbye or prayer together. Dear God, thank you for the love you show us. Thank you that your plans cannot be stopped. Help us to trust you and obey you as you invite us to live on mission for you. Let us tell others all about you, Son Jesus.